The Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops apologized as a group for the first time to the First Nations community for the church's role in residential schools. Coming together in this past week, we were uh, recognizing the need for us as bishops to once again uh, issue an unequivocal apology. And, and with the hopes that, yes, we can continue this promise of reconciliation. Six Nations elected Chief Mark Hill says the apology is long overdue, but he's looking for more than just words. We really are looking for action, and I think this was a first step to that, uh, and really looking forward to how we can kind of you know, move forward in that good way of a renewed relationship. The bishops also agreed to share whatever records or logs they have from the residential schools. We have been able to reach out to our First Nations and talk to them how we can assist in uh, sharing our records and allowing them to know that this information, what information we have concerning loved ones that may have been buried in unmarked graves, they can have access to that information. That's ex exactly what, I, what, I, what I'm speaking of when I mean practical action, because I know not all records were handed over to uh, the National Center of Truth and Reconciliation. You know, they're still missing records from, say, for example, uh, you know, the Mohawk Institute. The bishops also launched a fundraising campaign for $30 million to help with healing and reconciliation initiatives. But Chief Hill says that money would be better served fixing broken communities. For me, how can we start to shift to say, you know, let's get every territory in this country clean drinking water. <laughs> let's get every territory and community in this country a nice house to live in. You know, those types of things are what's going to help build families, build communities, and ultimately help us all heal. As for the Mohawk Institute, Hill says the search for unmarked graves will begin in the next few weeks. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News.